In this lesson, I want to discuss the last of these uh, of the somatic sensory mo uh, pathways as they travel from the spinal cord to the brain. And this one, we, we give ourselves a little bit more of a simplicity here. There are no third order uh, neurons to discuss here, but it can be a little bit more of a difficult one to think about. And it is the spinocerebellar pathway. Now, just to help things out a little bit, spinocerebellar pathways sit on either side, just about here in this little half moon sort of shape pathway here on either side. Now this will deal with uh, such things the little golgi tendon organs. That is what detects tendon stretch. Tendon stretch, proprioception from your muscles. This is what's responsible for the knee jerk when the doctor hits you in the in the knee with the uh, with your particular mallet. Uh, and I'm going to leave those pathways drawn there so you have an idea where they are in the division of the spinal cord. And I'm going to come in on both sides where we have proprioception. Um, proprioception there is body position, tendon stretch, these things. And both of them will come in on either side uh, here to our dorsal root ganglia. So on the spinal nerve to the dorsal roots, dorsal root ganglia. Now, once we are here, they both will emerge in the same manner. Both of them will come in and go straight to the anterior gray horns. So both will do just that and come there. Now here's where things get a little bit more difficult for us. On the right side, we pick up with the second order, which I'm going to draw in yellow, has been my tradition. And we cross, we pick it up from there. And then it's going to cross to the anterior side, to the anterior gray commissure, into the pathway. Now, when it comes in from this one, it just goes straight into the pathway. So now that both pathways, we can essentially unite them as they will travel up into the brain stem. And they will go in here to the cerebellum. So as they pass into the cerebellum, and uh, we uh, we have no other worries. Is that the trickiest part is that, that on the right side they cross through the uh, anterior gray commissure into into the uh, uh, spinal thalamic pathway. So one crosses over where they all end up going. Um, one goes contralateral, one goes ipsilateral, uh, and as they come into the cerebellum to to detect this tendon stretch, and this is why these are very automatic when you feel like you're going to trip or fall, that you automatically do this. So uh, just giving an idea how this works can be very important for you. And corticospinals and other particular uh, that we have discussed in the past uh, will be very helpful for you. But these are what happens in order of maintaining balance, body's position, and tendon stretch. And uh, a little bit more simple in some cases with only two orders of neurons. Uh, but the, uh, the pathways do cross over and a little bit more complex. But this concludes my video on the spinal cell barrel pathway. And I hope you do find these videos helpful as to what is going on inside your brain. And this concludes my video.